Hey, so um, I have three unfinished paintings that I really want to finish and I thought I might film a video to motivate me to actually sit down and finish them. So I'm going to do this one first. It's like these cute little, I don't know what these flowers are called, but they're like one of my favorite flowers. They're very, very cute. They look like little like bells or whatever. I don't know, but the background is pretty much done. I don't think I'm going to do much else, but I want to finish these and add some like other tones and the stems and stuff like that so yeah and then the second one is the second one is this one you can't really see it right now because i haven't like yeah but you can, this is the one i need to add a swing right here um but we'll do that later so there's also another one in here oh here it is so there's also this one but i don't really like this one that much and there's a lot of work that i need to do so if i get to this one then i'll do it but i want to at least do these two so i have a white paint i bought this like big jar thing of white acrylic paint and i'm really glad i did because like oh god i get so much more paint like this and i don't have to keep like buying more i have like so many empty tubes of white acrylic paint there's another one i think anyway it's really sunny right now which is really pretty I don't know how long that will last, but it's it's finally getting warm outside. And as I'm saying that, it's kind of getting less and less sunny, but it'll be back. I just, it's like being covered by a cloud. Either way, I'm really happy that um, it's finally getting warm again. It was warm and then it got cold and it was like raining and like snowing and stuff. And now it's warm again. So yeah, uh, I want to do a voiceover for this, but I'm not going to like speed up the footage. I'm just going to add calming little music stuff. And it can be like a cute little paint with me and you can paint along in real time. But I don't really want to speak while I paint. So we'll just, I'll add that in later as like a little voiceover. So yeah, um, okay. Voiceover, hello, hello. Um, I'm just painting. I'm realizing how boring this footage is as I'm editing because like, I just like go in. <laughs> with slightly different shades of white to shade these little white flowers and not much is going on so i'm here to entertain you a little bit um i don't really know what to entertain you with but later on i already actually filmed a little segment of the voiceover i know i don't do everything chronologically that's crazy but i'm gonna add that later in the video it was from like weeks ago <laughs> this clip that you're watching was also filmed probably weeks ago i actually don't remember where, when it was but it was definitely not recent it was like maybe a week or two ago i don't know man it doesn't matter to be fair but i just hate how much i procrastinate i do i feel like this time though it really was school like we've just had so much going on still though i i don't know i don't know why i'm just, if anyone has a fix for procrastination that oh my god there's a little spider on my window there was a spider on my window I, oh my god i remember there was this little spider in my window and he was there for like maybe days i don't know it was a while i think i named him and everything i don't remember what i named him i definitely named him this is definitely a different spider though i actually really hate bugs like hate them like with a little bit of a no with a burning passion not a little bit like a big burning passion but i'm not scared of them they're just like disgusting with their little legs for anyone who likes bugs it's fine butterflies are cute butterflies i love spiders not so much why am i talking about this uh <laughs> bees can die so can mosquitoes anyway um i really want to finish my sketchbook already but like i just i don't know there are little periods of time where i kind of use it and then i just forget about it again and currently i kind of forgot about it again so i really want to get back into it because it's just i need to finish it when was this started actually i can, I can check wait i started this sketchbook on the 12th of june last year so if i better finish it by june because like hello i've never spent a year on a sketchbook like ever and i can't even be like yeah but this was like sure i spent a year on it but it's like a really good high quality like i spent hours on these pages nope nope in fact this is one of my like i feel like less quality sketchbooks like the art is better than the older ones because i've improved but low-key, half of the pages are stuck together and there really isn't that much good artwork. No, sorry. I need to hype this up for you to actually watch the sketchbook tour when it comes out in like July, apparently, because like I'm going to finish it in June and then it's going to take me a month to film and edit the sketchbook tour. 
like I mentioned, I love, I don't love procrastination. It's just a thing that I do. Anyway. Ooh, I like the last spread I did. I totally forgot about this. Mm, one of these portraits is not good. Whatever. I need to draw more. But that's okay. I do paint, kind of. As you can see by this. Uh, um... I'm working on this like little lino cut thing for school, which is like an art assignment. I was gonna make a video doing it, but that's impossible because um, it's not impossible. It's just like kind of boring and painful and like I'm realizing that it's gonna be really ugly. Like I think it's gonna turn out horrible and nothing like I imagined it, which is fine. Like it's not that bad, but I just don't like it. Either way, I don't think it would be a very entertaining video because I've done this before like three times. So it's not like I'm learning the ropes. It's just me like getting a wrist cramp every two seconds and like cutting my fingers. Yeah, and there's just like no undoing. If you accidentally go over a part that you weren't supposed to go over, it's done. You can't glue it back. Wait, I've done that before. I actually have. Oh my god, I just remembered. In my like last one or like the previous one, I remember very clearly there was like a little part where I like made a hole or something to like cut too deep or something i don't know but i glued it back on which honestly was kind of innovative like go me <laughs> it worked so yeah uh, in case you couldn't tell i really don't have much to say about this painting so i'm trying to not go off topic and like talk about random stuff like spiders but it's really difficult when like I don't have anything to say about the thing that I'm doing in this video. But I hope you're just like, you know, drawing or painting or something. It is called a paint with me. So I expect people to like create things. And every time I make these, I'm like, no one's gonna watch this. No one would want to watch me paint and then like ramble about it. And then what? Do I really expect people to like get their supplies out and paint along with me? But like, yeah. I'd hope so. That's why I make the videos. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, there are like a thousand other paint with me's, but like, watch mine, please watch mine. I guess if you're here, you're watching it. Don't click off. <laughs> I made these like little origami butterflies like a month ago. Honestly, it feels like a month ago, but like I don't know if it was that long ago. I just like can tell that it's been way too long because I've been like planning to do this for a while. But like, br my brother brought home this little origami butterfly, and then. I found the tutorial and I forced him to make some for me again while I also helped um, make a couple. And oh wow, they've collected dust. They are dusty. That's how long they've been sitting here. Wow. <laughs> They're just these like little white butterflies. They're really cute though. And I wanted to paint them for a video because I thought that would be cute. Because like there's a lot of them low key. I don't know. There's like definitely at least like five and i don't know i can't do that like in my own time so i thought why not make a video out of it there's so many random things like that like i'm like i don't know if that would be entertaining enough for a youtube video but i'm gonna do it probably don't quote me on that though because there are many things that i'm like oh i'll film that and then i never do and then i just like decide that it's not worthy enough for a video or i just get bored so that's that okay so for those of you who know korean on earth um i did <laughs> I did something again that is kind of on a whim. Okay, it's not really. I was thinking about it for a little bit, like maybe a couple days, but I'm turning it into a book. So remember when I was talking about the fact that I like rushed into a comic <laughs> and that was a terrible idea, but I'm glad I did though. Like I'm not, I don't regret anything, but I'm I'm known, not known, but it's definitely a habit of mine to start very <laughs> ambitious projects that i have no experience in and will probably take me too long but so, you know so this is this isn't an exception but <laughs> i just kind of like started writing a book in like midway through february kind of like i mean okay i know it sounds a little ridiculous cause, like who am i to write a book you know but at the same time i genuinely think i could do anything like i know that's maybe a little bit egotistical but like there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of confidence like i know that i'm not good at everything like i know i am aware that i'm not good at things but i genuinely believe that if i really tried and i really really put my mind to anything like i could do it i could like i <laughs> maybe i mean that's not a bad mentality like yeah, maybe I'm a little bit delusional, but I can write a book. Easy. I instantly started like doing research on writing and like watching YouTube videos. I have 
three chapters done pretty much um they're very short chapters but i kind of like that like i i keep writing for like myself which i think is not a bad thing like i understand that not everyone's gonna have like the same taste in, in books as me but i'm writing what i would want to read which i think is a good way to do it because that way i'm passionate about what i'm doing and like this is it no one's gonna see this for a while right even just me telling putting this out there on the internet i wasn't planning on doing that i but i've decided i'll tell you guys <laughs> why not um my friends know my parents i tried keeping it a secret but like it's something to keep a secret i just don't like when people know about my little hobbies you know what i mean because i have like a million interests like i i don't you know <laughs> I can do anything. I genuinely think I could, like, there are so many things that I want to try. Like, it's it's causing me no harm. Just the fact that I just don't have enough time in the day to, like, do everything and learn everything. But I've always, I've always liked the process of, like, learning a new skill. And, like, getting so deeply, like, <laughs> fixated on a new hobby or idea. Like, it's just, it's so fun. Because, like, I go to school and all I can think about is, like, oh my god, the book. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. It's just so fun. Like, after a while, that kind of excitement kind of fades. Like, right now, I haven't, like, written anything in, like, days and days. But I still, like, I don't know. I just like working on stuff. And I keep piling on, like, more things that I want to do and learn and, like, work on. But, I mean, it keeps life fun. What else would I do with my time? Like, so, if you want to do something just do it you know what just try no one's stopping you it'd be cool to like crochet i keep getting tiktoks of like crochet crocheting things i think tiktok thinks that i crochet but i'm actually just interested i don't know where to buy supplies and like also but it'd be kind of fun like you know what i mean like doing a little thingy and like making little patterns and like cute little hats and things like that sounds fun I also want to like sculpt more like i've made a couple things but it's nothing crazy i want to like actually sit down and like make something useful other than like a tiny little cat that sits on my shelf you know what i mean but even that is cute you know i can make a video doing that if people want to see that i could do it that's the thing though art in itself is such like a huge hobby because like everything falls under that umbrella like anything creative is an art form right at the same time even just like classic art stuff like drawing and painting there's still so much like you could there are so many millions of styles that you could discover millions of things that you could draw and imagine and create and learn and it's like it's you know even different mediums and paints i could from my sketchbook i could make like journal entries and like little scrapbooks or i could like paint realistic portraits and landscapes or like there's just so much there's so much you could do and it's fun i really want to get the queen of nothing which is like the third book in the folk of the air trilogy and i really really liked both um the cool prince and the wicked king especially the wicked the wicked king i love that book but i already like i just bought a bunch of fantasy books and i should read those but i want to finish the series like i'm very conflicted uh, i don't know all right uh thank you so much for watching the video there's a little bit left of the clip so i'm just gonna play that with some music and enjoy um again i hope you hope you like the video and i hope you painted along or drew something or just relax i don't know <laughs> i'll see you next time whenever that is uh i'll upload eventually <laughs> okay bye